We put on the spirit coat. Ooh, it's cold blood. <laughs> so now we rock with the spirit. You know, old things have passed away. Behold, all is new. The spirit coat. But now the question is, but why is it that some of us still like that old coat? Because this don't match all the time. This don't match with everything that I got on, but it's something about... This flesh coat, it just makes me feel good. You know what? Sometimes when I'm talking to a lady, um, and this is before I got married, I love you, baby. <laughs> um, well, talking to a lady, you, you know what? We're, we're shy. Um, you know, in the spirit code, we're shy. We're, we're um, I'm stumbled. We're, we're chilling. And so, but it's something about that flesh code gives us some, some, some swag. You know, that flesh code, man, I'll come up to you. Hey, hey, switch it. <laughs> Sweet pea pie. Um, I'm not trying to do nothing to you. I, I just want to tell you um, who you are. You are sweet pea pie. Don't steal that, Art. Don't you, don't you, don't you steal that, Art. Romans 7, chapter 7, verse 14 and 25 simply says something about Paul. He says, um, when I want to do good, evil is always present. Um, this is this is my version. Um, the thing that I don't want to do, I do. And when I want to do what I want to do, I can't do it. Um, I, I, I'm bipolar. I don't know what to do. <laughs> now listen up. Paul was saved. Paul was so cold blooded. Half of the stuff you read in the New Testament, Old Testament, New Testament, New Covenant, half of the stuff you read is Paul. And Paul says, when I try to do good. This flesh coat seems to always find its, oh, sorry, find its, its, its way to me. So now some of us has got the flesh coat, but then some of us are fighting with the spirit coat. And, and I want to stop real quick to just say, Whatever side you feed the most, wow. it's the side that's gonna be the strong. Okay, 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 okay. Um, if okay, okay. All right, let me go back to Second Kings today. Um, if if I read my Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Pray every day. If you read your Bible, pray every day. You will grow, grow, grow. But if you don't read the Bible, pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. If you don't. So my question is, if we have grown, why is it that the flesh coat still fits us? I mean, I can't wrap my, uh, my mind around you. Know, I just started, you know, I'm just trying to chop it up. And I'm like, Lord, would you show me something? Show me what you show back. Because I'm like, what? How? How? What? If I'm growing... I'm growing in you, but why is it that my flesh coat still fits me? And it says, ding, 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 ding. I said, oh, my God. As 
he was growing, somebody was sneaking and putting the flesh coat on. Okay, y'all didn't get that. Um, as you were growing, um, I can't fit my two-year-old pants anymore. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't put it in there. But so, so why is it that I can fit that? He says because somebody is still sneaking and still putting their flesh coat on. Don't you know your flesh coat adapts to you? It, it adapts to you. What that simply means is that the enemy studies you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't think it don't? Oh, okay. Um, all right. Come here, Jesus. Uh, for, for, 40 days, 40 nights fasting. You know he was hungry. Jesus was hungry. 100% man, 100% God. 100% God, but he was 100% man. Uh, all of us who have fast for even one day, we hungry. So 40 days, wait a minute. He was hungry, and all of a sudden, when he's hungry, the enemy comes up. And he didn't say, I'll give you a Bentley, because Christ didn't need a Bentley at that moment. But he so asked, he said, look, I know you're hungry. Uh, you ain't never heard of it yet, uh, but in this new Wendy that just opened up. Um, I can go down there uh, get you some fries and burgers, man. You ain't even got to pay for it, man. Um, you know, tell you what, you, you got, why don't you turn these stones into bread? You know, you hungry. He's tempting him. Do you get what I'm saying? The enemy don't come to you with some weak stuff. He knows what you like. He knows you like them light skin. He know you like Pepsi, and Pepsi ain't good for you. <laughs> I had to look at all my family over here. We all drink Pepsi. Pray for us. Pray for us. He knows what you like. Stop sneaking putting the coat on. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you hear me? So God says you have to die daily. Die daily. Mean you have to kill the flesh daily. No, you don't wake up, get a knife, and stab yourself. Don't y'all do that, young folks. Don't do that. What he's saying is you have to kill it. It, it. It's a monster. Remember, whatever size you feed the most will grow. So it's saying kill it daily. Um, starve it. Kill it. Feed your flesh. Get up. Read. Um, talk to your parents. Let's, let's chop it up about the word of God. Feed it. Now, some of you are saying, if, if God died or Christ died, why well, I got to die? Because I was like that smart. He died for it all. I ain't got to die no more. Well, well, it, 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 here we go. When Jesus died, he saved us from the penalty of sin. Penalty is simply saying that when you sin, I'm going to be honest, the wages of sin is death. That means whatever you do, you have to pay with something. So God says, I knew you couldn't um, pay the bill. You ate a lot, but you could not afford it. So what I'm going to do is send my son, write a big old check, and um, pay for your meal. Real quick, let's pause and say, thank you, Jesus, for your bank account. Thank you, Jesus. I just wanted to say that real quick. Um, so he says, I died for the penalty. You don't have to worry about going to hell if you're saved. You ain't got to worry about dealing with that other stuff when you're mine. Then he says, I save you from the practice of sin. What it simply means is when we put on the spirit coat, we don't walk the same. We don't talk the same. We don't cuss the same because we don't cuss at all. Did y'all hear that? Amen. I said, you can hear that. I said, you can hear it. Now, here we go. Penalty of sin. Practice. Practice of sin. Practice um, the penalty of sin, the practice of sin. But until he comes back, we will not be saved from the presence of sin. Now, this is the point. We ain't got to pay for it, and technically, we ain't got to do a lot of it. We actually can walk in the Spirit and do less of it. But until he comes back, we got to deal with it in our faith. You know, Disney. Yeah, they saying on Disney. Oh, Lord Jesus. They do. We was watching Disney the other night. The blasphemy that was on Disney. Ooh, yeah, Disney. I know. We'll talk afterwards. Disney. Yes, he was horrible. Oh, my God. So the question is, what coat are you wearing? She cussing at me. Oh, I want to pop her in the mouth. But what coat are you wearing? Parents tell you, hey, clean up your room. I got, well, what coat are you wearing?
ring. Wait a minute, pants. I'm telling them to clean your room, but when they come in my room, my room is a mess. What coat are you wearing? You telling your kids to be on time, but you always late at work. What coat are you wearing? I ain't in the Bible. Train up a child. And the way they should go. And when they get old, it's something about it they cannot do. Y'all know it. I hope y'all do. Y'all know it. I hope y'all do it. Now my question is, okay, we're struggling. We're struggling. We're struggling. Why are we still struggling? Lord, hit me again. He said, you're struggling because when you're in a hurry and you're ready to go somewhere, you always grab the closest coat. Because it's accessible. It's there. So you grab it. So my question is, why is it still hanging up? That's why we're struggling with coats, because it's still hanging up. So my advice to you is, now I ain't got nothing but one to choose from. But some of us sneaky. We've been sneaking putting these flesh coats in the first place. So some of us need to get it out. Kick everything that costs of doing your surroundings. Kick everything that looks like that old relationship. Hold up the pictures. Get in the phone. Delete the numbers. He said, subdue your surroundings. If you don't, you will sneak. I'm telling you, I, I've done that. I've done that. The Lord has said, I'm bringing you out of some stuff. He brought me out. But I didn't do my part. I didn't subdue. And so, therefore, the moments when I wasn't walking with him, I was kind of struggling. And then when I'm struggling, I went to that phone. And all of a sudden, I looked at that phone. And when I was under his direction, I should have eliminated everything that was not like him. But because I didn't, here you go, Lily. Uh, I mean, we, we ain't talked in a minute. Um, what you wearing? Uh, oh, you going to the skate park? You know how y'all is. You going to the skate park? You going? Well, I don't skate, but I'll go if you go. You know what I'm Subdue your surroundings. Everybody say, are you strapped? Are you strapped? Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. All right. Let's stay in Christ. 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 Stay in the vehicle. Stay in the vehicle. Stay in Christ. Stay in Christ. Stay in the vehicle. Stay in the vehicle. My wife needs to watch this car. <clears throat> okay. All right, wait a minute. First thing I do when I get in the car, I, I, I always go to the radio. I'm sorry. Pray for me. I always go to the radio. <clears throat> and, and the thing I love about the radio is I love FM or high definition versus AM. It's not that they sing better songs, but AM, the quality is not as strong as FM or HD. Did y'all hear me? Now, you can listen to AM when they got HD. Of course, that one want to do a shout out for you real quick. Um, but FM has better quality. And HD is even better. So God says, that's what I'm talking about. Me and you have a station that we talk on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's high dimension. FM. You stay in me, I will direct you, and I even tell you when traffic is, is coming up. I'll tell you when the storm is coming. I'll tell you when things um, is about to change in your midst, if you stay on my station. But some of us want to turn to our own station. Um, you know, and then you like what you like. You like the, the bass, the lyrics, and the hook. Yeah, some of you like the bass. Some of you like the lyrics. And some of you... Like the hook. Let me search my radio. The bass. The bass. 
Sí. Y'all like the bass. Forgetting that the lyrics is getting in your brain. So again, you know, you ladies or you know, you um, intellectual people, you don't listen to the bass. Uh, you, and, and you really don't even care about the hug. Uh, but you care about the lyrics. Not, not, not so much what he's saying in a sense of how he looks and he ain't got to have no money, but, you know, how do you talk to me? I want to I hear how he talks. The lyrics, the lyrics. You like the lyrics. Like, it's a song. Matter of fact, let me cut the radio on real quick. I don't need help. This radio. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Now there's a song out there that's called Please don't, you know what? Please don't stop my vibe. Please don't feel my vibe. Please don't kill my vibe. It's amazing my young people know that. Let me help you out what it says. It talks about I'm a sinner and I'm probably going to sin again. You know, I'm basically so high, I can smell you from two uh, vertical, two worlds away. Um, I got a drink in one hand, and, and I got some nails, but you know what? I would share it with you, but uh, please don't get my high. Please don't kill my high. Please don't kill my, please don't kill my, please don't kill my high. Wait a minute. Young daughter, young man, I love you so much. Listen to me. Oh, the lyrics, sweet. Please don't kill my back. Please don't kill my back. Please don't kill my back. I want to. I want to let you know. First of all, he's high. Yeah. He's smoking. Matter of fact, he probably ain't even smoking weed nowadays. Yeah. Uh, uh, they smoking gasoline. I don't know what they smoking. But, but the point is. The point is, we have to do the songs like we do the text, the Word of God. We can't just take a word and use it out of context. We got to look at the whole culture. What is God saying? Is he talking to the church? Is he talking to the Jews? What is he talking to? The, the, the songs are the same thing. You can't just say, please don't kill my vibe and think that's hot. What is he really saying? He's saying, I'm so high, I can smell you from two earths away, two worlds away. That's high in the mud. And he's to the point, he's to the point, he's saying, I'm so, I'm so hot, I'm corrupted. I got a drink in one hand and some other stuff in another hand. He's even talking about, I'm dead with you. But you know what? I, I, I'm so hot, I'm telling you, please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my vibe. I want to pause real quick.